Hey guys, it's Rendell and I'm going to do a lovely Valentine's dinner for you and your special loved one. So you're gonna do it without me? Uh, no. <laughs> we are going to cook a lovely meal for you guys, I hope you like it. Now vegetable tortellini. Right. A simple garlic bread and toast. Right. I do not. I do not. Right. Yeah, and of course, you know, you need dessert. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do our chocolate mousse. Right. All these recipes are simple, really easy to put together. Take your normal appliances at home and just make this easy peasy. Fancy top, put some makeup, mm -hmm. comb up your hair. Yeah, yeah. Get out your looking? nice wears. You see how she looking? <laughs> I, I know I'm no suit, but you know, you know what it is. You know it. Trini cooking, you must have a little green seasoning. Of course, we're making an Italian dish, but a little spoon of green seasoning will hurt. Pimentos, I have parsley, I have Jamaican thyme, some garlic, some celery, some shadow benny, one medium onion, and some side. Well, I'm going to run out in the backyard with the side, so we'll do this for now. Don't kill me. There's only one spoon we use it. Yeah, I don't have all the knife skills, right? Who knows, it's going to chop up in a food processor. And the smell of green seasoning is amazing. I mean, I can't go wrong with this, right? Close up this baby. You all seen this little thing they have now? You show it locked in. All right, so we pulse in again. That's about it. Um, so that is it. That is that, that season. Okay, can I dry put a little water or something? Like it no, on? well, sometimes if you put too much water, then it takes forever to permeate your meats and whatnot. Uh, so, permeate? What we don't do? <laughs> so, I don't know English or what, anyway. <laughs> right, guys. So, this is the seasoning you're looking for. We're only going to be using like one tablespoon of this. And we frying up our stuff, right? Nice. So on to the garlic butter, Randall. Come do your thing. Right. Where the rest of ingredients? Really? <laughs> you you see? Yes. See love on Valentine's Day. Oh my God. Mm. That realistic couple. No patience. You have no patience. <laughs> Forty years old is ready now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Valentine's Day. Spend your money. This is this thing expensive. Now, of course, we know it's about a lot of chemicals out there. that put preservatives in your everything. So I just decided, hey, you know what? Let we make we own garlic butter. Of course, you need garlic chopped up nice, right? Thanks, Melina. You have your Parmesan cheese, equal parts of garlic salt, Italian seasoning some ground black pepper and paprika right and of course some real butter right you know make sure it's room temperature i'm just gonna put in the nice real butter no margarine please melina wanted to buy margarine after, don't put me on that please sir. after you make me spend 40 dollars for this bread i don't understand nice right so this is real cool so you put it in your dry seasonings you put in your cheese, right, and you just mix. Easy as that. You gotta put in your little green seasoning and make it a little tricky. Hey, hey, that's good. Alright, warm it up. I'll tiffin your thing on. You just had a mess up count, eh? Yeah, you just mix it around for two minutes. And you're good to go there. Mmm, butter. I can't believe it's garlic butter. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna cut this lovely $40. Shabbatta bread. I don't know why my wife like all this Italian thing, but oh, if anything, the bread worth it money, yes, because what's that texture? Wow. Alright, so just take a little bit of butter. You're generous with it, you know what I mean? I mean, it can't be Valentine's Day and you're buying the typical bread in a bowl. So yeah, let's put it in, close it up, and set it for two to three minutes. Done. So this tortellini here is a cheese tortellini, so this is what you're going to look for when you're shopping for it. And you're going to boil it, just under boil it. Season your water, add some salt, 
and you wait for it to come to a boil and you add your tortellini. You're looking at the package instructions and you're going like a minute under. Just gonna rinse off this pot and saute the veggies in it. Okay, so you're gonna train your oil. Yeah, you can't forget this special seasoning. I just one tablespoon, right? That's smelling really nice. Yeah. Okay. Italian seasoning. Okay, so we added some dried basil because we couldn't find fresh ones for whatever reason. We have some fresh parsley, sweet peppers. Yeah, no. The cooking does take long sometimes, but it will be all worth it. I'm gonna do it. Zucchini here and some corn. Grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes, however you wanna call it. So just add in this. My marinara. And then I add my parmesan. Alright, so don't forget salt and black pepper to your liking. Of course, you can't have all this fanciness and no dessert, right? So we're gonna make the mousse. So we have some whipping cream here. And we're gonna whip it until we get some soft peaks and then add all the other ingredients. Yeah. Why does Carton trying to give me hell? Eh. Yeah, I'm open that for you. We turn it in here, turn on this hand mixer, and wait till I get some peaks. And we're gonna wait. Right, so we have a little soft peaks in here. Somebody mess up my plate, then. Somebody. We know who that is, eh? But <coughs> not me. Right, so we have some powdered sugar here, and we have cocoa powder and some vanilla. Extra. We're just gonna add into it and we're gonna whip until we get our stiff peaks. We need to do this thing properly, so just take it off of the um the base and we're just gonna mix like this. What what one girl? <laughs> They're good. <laughs> right, so this is the consistency you're looking for. Well, uh, it's like a mousse. It's very, very fluffy and whatnot. Okay. Um, the suggestion is to put this in a piping bag and do it fancy. But, um, but, um, I don't know if I go through all of that. I will make a swirl with my spoon on the top. Right? And we'll get it. Malina, you could uh, do that, man. What? Make me some special uh, pipe it for me. It's again. five years when you married one year, Auntie. Ah, Jesus Christ. All right. Come, come. You want these? You want these? You can have these. Yeah, like that. So you just wanna make sure that you rinse out your strawberries if you don't have vinegar. You can um, add some salt water and rinse them out, right? So you just wanna put your mousse to chill until you're ready to have them. There's no mousses. The mousses. Moo. Right guys, so oh good. <laughs> we hope you really enjoyed these easy recipes. We hope you're able to make it with your loved ones and really enjoy Valentine's Day or any day. You know, you have a little date night, you could make something nice. I mean, what's your spread? Well, I mean, it is a labor of love. I don't know where he get easy from because I do most of the cooking. Hello, Noah. Hello, I had the camera. Everything all you see is because of me. Anyway guys, so hope you enjoy Valentine's Day. And happy eating. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's, guys. Yeah.